One of the great problems of the world today is undoubtedly this problem of not being able to talk to scientists because uh, we don't understand science. They can't talk to us because they don't understand anything else, poor dears. This problem, I think it was uh, C.P. Snow uh, first raised it, uh, Sir Charles Snow in private life, uh, in, his, um, in his books uh, Science and Government and so on. Mind you, I haven't read it. I'm, I'm waiting for the play to come. This, he says quite rightly, he says... He said, it's no good going up to a scientist and saying to him, as you would to anybody else, you know, good morning, how are you, lend me a quid, and so on. I mean, you just, you just glare at you, or make a rude retort, or something. <laughs> no, you, you have to speak to him in language that he'll understand. I mean, you go up to him, you say something like, um, Ah, H2SO4, Professor. <laughs> don't uh, don't synthesise anything I wouldn't synthesise. <laughs> Oh, and, and the reciprocal of pie to your good wife. <laughs> now, this, this he will understand. So says that nobody can consider themselves educated who doesn't know at least the basic language of science. I mean, things like Sir Edward Boyle's Law, for example. The greater the external pressure, the greater the volume of hot air. Uh, the simple... Or the, the second law of thermodynamics. This is very important. I was somewhat shocked the other day to discover that my partner not only doesn't know the second law, he doesn't even know the first law of thermodynamics. <laughs> Going back to first principles, very briefly, thermodynamics, of course, is derived from two Greek words, thermos, meaning hot, if you don't drop it, and <laughs> dynamics, meaning dynamic work. And thermodynamics is simply the science of heat and work and the relationships between the two. As laid down in the laws of thermodynamics, which may be expressed in the following simple terms. After me, Doc. The first law of thermodynamics. Heat is work and work is heat. Heat is work and work is heat. Very good. The second law of thermodynamics. Heat cannot of itself pass from one body to a hotter body. Heat cannot of itself pass from one body to a hotter body. Heat won't pass from a cooler to a hotter. Heat won't pass from a cooler to a hotter. You can try it if you like, but you'd far better not. Uh. You can try it if you like, but you'd far better not. Uh. Cause the cold in the cooler will get hotter as a ruler. Cause the cold in the cooler will get hotter as a ruler. Because the hotter body's heat will pass to the cooler. Cause the hotter body's heat will pass to the cooler. Heat is work and work is heat and work is heat and heat is work. Heat will pass by. Conduction and heat will pass by. Conduction and heat will pass by. Convection heat will pass by. Convection and heat will pass by. Radiation will pass by. Radiation and that's a physical law. Heat is work and work's a curse. And all the heat in the universe is gonna cool down. Because it can't increase. Then there'll be no more work, and there'll be perfect peace. Really? Yeah, that's entropy, man. <laughs> all because of the second law of thermodynamics, which lays down that you can't pass heat from a cooler to a hotter. Try it if you like, you far better than it. Cause the cold in the cooler will get hotter as a ruler. Cause the hotter body's heat will the pass to the whole world. You can't pass from a cooler to a hotter. Try it if you like, but you only look a fool. Cause the cold in the cooler will get hotter as a ruler. That's a physical law. Oh, I'm hot. Hot? That's because you've been working. Oh, Beatles, nothing. <laughs> That's the first and second law of thermodynamics.